Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I'm a banking and a payment consultant. And in the how to start a money transfer business YouTube series, we are now discussing about part of licensing. There are many ways you can partner up and you know with, with other people and get a license and get license coverage. There are two predominant ways. One is obviously becoming an agent of a principal license holder. That means someone already holds a license and you become an agent. It is not too difficult. There's some regulatory filing, etc. But there is something you have to be careful about. I've already talked, talked about this in another video. The PLH, there are three axioms you have to follow. And the first axiom is that as you know, the client will legally belong to the principal license holder. It's not your client. The client, even though you're onboarding the client, the client belongs to the principal license holder. If you walk into a Western Union store, the store owner could be a supermarket. The supermarket doesn't own the client, Western Union does because the license is a Western Union uh, license and the store simply happens to be an agent of that. So the first axiom is the client legally belongs to the principal license holder. The second axiom is that the flow of funds has to be as such that it must flow through the principal license holder's bank account. If you are collecting money on Western Union's behalf and you channel it without Western Union know knowing about it, Needless to say, that's uh, first of all, that's an illegal transfer. And second of all, it will not come under the purview of transfers done by Western Union because Western Union has no idea that such a transfer occurred. So the flow of funds is such that the agent receives money, but it must traverse through the bank of the principal license holder. The third axiom is my favorite. Uh, and it's all about pizzas and stereos. And let me tell you why. You must be, as an agent, in the same business as the principal license holder. So, for example, if the principal license holder is in the business of pizza, you can be in the business of pizza box, pizza making, pizza delivery, pizza topping, etc. As long as you're in the same vertical, the, the, that micro niche vertical, you're good to become an agent. However, if you are in, if the principal license holder is in the business of, let's say, pizza and you're selling stereos, that's clearly a mismatch and you might have regulatory trouble in trying to become an agent of the principal license holder. It does not mean that if a supermarket, you know, you may say, well, how can a supermarket that sells food and groceries and vegetables, etc., be an agent of Western Union? That's not the intent. The supermarket simply happens to be an avenue. The question is, why did the supermarket become an agent of Western Union to do money transfer? That is part and parcel of what Western Union does, money transfers. So again, same playing, same uh, play field, same you know, ballpark, same uh, arena, that makes sense. But if that supermarket became an agent of Western Union, to do online e-commerce payments, that would be two separate things and hence regulatory approval would not be given. So in order to get the uh, partnerships, you can become an agent. The other thing is something called a program manager or a sponsored uh, program manager, which basically means that an existing principal license holder that already holds the license decides to host and run the program that you wanted to run. So if I wanted to make an app for money transfer, well, that license holder that, I'm, the license holder that, that I will partner up with, they will host the app, they will run it, they will provide the API, they will do all the banking, they will provide all the compliances and KYC, etc. As a partner, I will be doing first level of customer support and marketing. I will not have access to the funds. I will not be touching the funds. All that is a responsibility of the principal license holder. So you have two avenues, agent or remittance as a service or money transfer as a service or PLH sponsorship. The nomenclature varies, but that's essentially it. Either you become an agent or let the principal license holder become the program manager for it and let them run it for you. I hope that answered the question. If you have any more, please feel free to ask in the comments section below. Till the next video, have a good one.